All right, hello everybody. It's Marjean Holden and Rebecca Hanscom, and we are from the Power of the Goddess. And today we are going to um, we're just going to talk a little bit about what is a goddess, like what is it? Because you know, it's like um, it, you know, people hear it. It's part of you know the name of my company, the Power of the Goddess. Um, and what is it really? So, so Rebecca, you probably have people talk to you all the time about this and saying, you know, what is this? What is this goddess anyways? What, it, what does that mean? What is it? Yeah. And the goddess energy to me is like, the goddess has a thousand, thousand names because in all cultures around the world, in mostly in times gone past, but having a revival now, there was thousands and thousands of goddesses that were worshiped because of, the, of women's ability to bring forth life. Yeah. Um, primarily, that's the primary goddess because she's able to bring forth life. So before we knew where life came from, it was a bit of a miracle. Mm. Um, but now we do know where life comes from. Mm -hmm. The goddess is, to me, present in most things really it's like a divine feminine presence so yeah. I, I feel like the, the goddess runs through all life all animals and it's just this it's kind of this nature of honoring the the earth and its creatures and everything else so when you honor the goddess whatever goddess you choose uh, whether it's the goddess that birthed the universe, you know, or the goddess that birthed the earth, or the earth goddess Gaia herself, it's like you're honoring this divine feminine principle. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what it is to me. So it's in, now at this time when we're going through all these evolutionary changes, world changes, it's really yeah. important that we bring that kind of energy creative energy and 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 come together and co-create with this energy that's that feels really abundant and kind of juicy at the moment yeah 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 you know and it's and it's really it's like if you've you know for anyone who's watching this video um you know a little bit about our backgrounds you know for me i spent most of my life um, and, and have spent most of my life in the entertainment industry. Um, I've been an actress for many, 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 many years, for 25 plus years. Um, and for the last 10 years, since 2006, I've been leading transformational trainings all over the world in a very, in a very masculine environment and a very, very super structured environment. So there's been um, lots of moments in my time when I've been teaching where I've been introduced to this energy of you know oh the goddess energy and oh the you know the feminine energy and you know so, so that at, like even years and years and years ago somebody said oh my god you're like this warrior goddess and I was like oh that sounds really kind of exciting because it sounded very strong but it also sounded very feminine you know mm -hmm. and for me it felt really good to be you know in that you know when I was when I was younger I wasn't taught um, that being feminine was okay you know yeah. That always was, you know, in this place where you got to be strong, you got to be yeah. independent, you got to yeah. be, you know, you don't don't depend on a man for anything, you know. And it was re really growing up. I think it was a gift, and it was also a challenge, because when it came, when I got a little bit older, you know, doing, uh, relying on the masculine in my life was very challenging because I was, you know, taught. And had a belief that it wasn't okay to depend on a man or that yes. I was gonna have to owe him for something and it took a lot of training of myself to be able to a honor the feminine to honor the feminine within myself and to be able to accept that sort of um, that support from the masculine mm. you know yeah 
Yeah. So it's it's like um, part of why you know people people you know that's a little bit about who I am and um, and Rebecca you know she's just this, <laughs> she's this amazing woman who happened to have been you know in one of my courses and I saw her and I was like watching her dance and I was like oh my god. I want to be able to dance like that. <laughs> Which is not in uh, alignment with what Rebecca does, and Rebecca's going to tell you a little bit about who she is and what she does. Yeah. So I'm. I I teach. I train teachers how to do a movement, uh, a movement ecstatic awakening dance. So I've got a school, the School of Ecstatic Movement, which trains teachers in ecstatic awakening dance. And my whole, it's taken a long time to get here because I've had many issues with my body and I think that's what, what propelled me on this path. Um, but um, I just like, I want women, I, I'm at a stage now where I feel really comfortable in my own skin mm -hmm. and I really enjoy my body, my sensuality and all of that stuff and that's why I teach this dance because I think it really enables people to come home to their bodies and feel safe and secure inside because it really is the first and only home that we've got everything else outside can change all the time and once you start loving your body then you can just love <laughs> everything else yes everyone else well, sometimes I have to work on that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's been a long journey. Same thing, very much in my masculine. But now, you know, taking on that feminine role is like um, really important to me. Yeah. And just sinking in to that sensuality, that touch, it's where all the juiciness is. I want to be a juicy woman. Yeah. Same as you, Jean. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Which yeah. is one of the reasons why we're, you know, we're we're hosting this event in, yeah. in September in Italy. Is yeah. because you know, for us, it's like I always felt like, you know, I'm the only woman on the face of the planet that's going through this. You know? Yeah. It's like yeah. and. I had, I learned that I'm not. I learned that there was a whole group of women out there who were strong, yeah. independent in their masculine and never given any information about being in their feminine, never given any information about being, you know, part of the, the whole energy of the goddess and yeah. the, the energy of the goddess, of, of the goddess of the earth, the mother, and yeah. really being in approval of and accepting that and honing that power and cultivating yeah. that power and then sustaining that power you know yeah. so so part of why we're doing this retreat is to is to allow women because again how many of you i'm just gonna ask you because how many of you always put everybody else first yeah. if you're one of those women that always puts everybody else first and you have any time that you sit and you go when is it my turn when am I going to get to, you know, just relax and rest and connect and receive and play? You know, that's part of the motto of and, the God. Yeah. And you know that, 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 that even though you're doing all those things, in, inside you're just screaming out for somebody to do something for you. And that's what yeah. we're going to try and teach you or instill in you, invite you to drop into that place of receiving because that is the feminine role, is to receive. So the, the whole five days that we're going to be together is about you coming, landing in your body and receiving whatever you need to receive to, to give you that juice to then take that back out into your life. Totally. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do another, um, there will be another video that we'll talk about specifically on receiving, but um, yeah, can go into a little bit more in depth, but you can you can uh, catch that video later. But yes, for five days we are going to um, you know make it all about you. We are going to yeah. honor you, honor you as the goddess, 
honor you as the feminine, honor you as a power and a light in the world um, that needs filling up, that needs filling up, that needs restoration, that needs relaxation, that needs connection and um, community and play with a group of other women. Sisterhood. Sisterhood. Yes. Sisterhood. And not we're all craving that, aren't we? Yes. We're all craving that inside somewhere. And, and what happens, you know, we're in our phones, we're flicking through a magazine, we're kind of comparing. We're not coming together and supporting. Yeah. We're saying, oh, she looks like this, he looks, like, you know, we're, we're kind of making judgment calls instead of supporting and nurturing each other. And that's really what the, the goddess and the sisterhood is about. It's just like supporting allowing others, other women, to shine in their unique brilliance. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you can find more information on the website at www.powerofthegoddess.com. Go to the events page. You can find all of the information for the retreat in Italy. Go there now, check it out. Come, uh, come connect, receive, and play with us in September, you know, get your groove back on, have yourself honored, have yourself nurtured, have yourself filled up so that you can go back out into the world and shine your light. So we look forward to seeing you in September. Woohoo! <laughs>